on Liberty Live, we are talking with Scott Stevens, CEO and Executive Director of Reach Out Lakota. Uh, Reach Out Lakota was started in 1992. A group of women wanted to help uh, the needs of some kids in the community. So they did a drive for toys and some food and they were amazed at the need. In fact, I get that often is, is there a need in Westchester Liberty Township? Yes, there is. And from that very first drive, they decided that there was a need for a food pantry. And so three women got together and planned. And in 1993, they opened the first doors of Reach Out Lakota, just doing food. And over time, we've expanded to not only food, but clothing and a lot of special programs. Did you know you could donate to Reach Out Lakota 24-7? We have two sheds, one's for clothing and one's for food. It's behind our building. And all you have to do is drive around the back, put the food in the shed, and our volunteers will come and get it in the morning and bring it inside. Uh, there's people dropping off things here all the time, and we appreciate your support. This is our clothing shed that's behind our building. So feel free to drop off any uh, clothing that's in pretty good condition, as well as small household items like dishes and pots and pans. Unfortunately, we can't take big items like chairs, furniture, TV, electronics, but we would love your used clothing. So as I mentioned, the community has been very supportive with donating food, but also financial donations. We purchase meat, we purchase milk, eggs, we buy a lot of uh, personal care items that aren't donated, and the community has really come forward to help provide the funds that we need to keep and operate. In fact, the Northern Cincinnati Foundation has just recently made a donation to an endowment fund of $200,000, and that fund will allow us to access funds on a regular basis uh, into the future. So as we need funds for different reasons, for example, we need a new roof coming up, and so we'll be able to access those funds. So the sustainability grant is just a blessing for Reach Out Lakota and our ability to continue to serve the community, not only today, but in the future. Reach Out Lakota doesn't do the work we do without the support of the community. And those of you in Liberty Township who want to get involved, there's several ways you can do it. Obviously, you can come to our fundraiser. You can donate money. You can volunteer. We have volunteers at the center six days a week. So there are even days we're not open, volunteers are sorting clothing, uh, getting the pantry ready for days that we're open. So if you are interested in volunteering, you can go to our website or call Reach Out Lakota and I can tell you more about that. We also have some fun things. We do some special events. We just finished our back to school program. Over 450 children got backpacks and school supplies. We use volunteers for organizing that event. And we've got Thanksgiving meals that we give out. And at Christmas time, we have both meals and gifts. Each family gets to pick out two gifts. And we use uh, certain volunteers to help us run that program. So if you're interested in volunteering, give us a call. Go to our website and see how you might want to be involved. So when COVID initially hit, I was worried that we would not be able to stay open. We have over 100 volunteers who really run Reach Out Lakota. They do the work, and a lot of them are retired individuals. And so my fear was they would not be able to come in and serve. But we cut back on the number of volunteers that come in, and we had enough who were willing to come in. We took lots of precautions with masks and gloves and cleaning, and we were able to maintain uh, the services that we provide. In fact, in addition to our regular three days a week, we added two drive-up days. So we had new volunteers, a lot of them were Lakota school teachers, uh, who helped pack bags and boxes, and we had a drive-through so people could drive up and they would receive food that way. So five days a week, we were providing food to families in the community. Uh, another part of that was a lot more businesses and churches and groups uh, were aware of what we did and supported us. So food was coming in very regularly. Where I was initially worried about running out of food, because we couldn't buy as much as we normally do and people couldn't buy stuff at the store. Uh, we were blessed with this community coming forward and keeping our shelves full 
so that we never ran out of food or even ran low on food items. In fact, we had an abundance and the more re we received, uh, the more we gave out to the families who came through our doors.